Professional cage fighters say changes to the law will put them at higher risk of injury. In a fortnight, mixed martial arts in WA will only be allowed in boxing rings, not cages. Full body combat competitors say that could mean they'll get seriously hurt. And this report does not contain any cage fighting. It's one of the fastest growing sports in the world, but also one of the most controversial. Cage fighting attracts hundreds of thousands of spectators in the US and Canada, making millions upon millions of dollars. Next month, it won't be welcome here. I do not support that. Uh, I, I do not oppose uh, uh, various martial arts or boxing. Mixed martial arts competitions will only be allowed in boxing rings, cages banned. Ultimate Fighting Championships director Tom Wright admits it's not to everyone's taste. It's okay if our sport is not your cup of tea. If it's okay if you don't like it. But don't don't say you don't like it because there are no rules, because frankly, there are a lot of rules. Those involved in cage fighting say they want to change people's perspectives about the sport. They say it's heavily regulated and on a professional level, no one has ever died. Last month, a government department found a fenced enclosure is the safest contest area for MMA. Contestants are confined to the contest area and cannot fall out of the ring. It would drive in, boom. From here, my hips are solid against the mesh. I can't get thrown up. Alexis Donkin, 7 News.